Hi everyone, this tutorial will be about jump stitches and being able to place anchor points for jump stitches. I have a design here that shows the jump stitches going from the origin to each of these objects in the design. You can see that the jump stitches go over the design. In this case, that wouldn't be stitched out yet. But the next design, it does go over where it will stitch over. And uh, you can cut the jump stitches as you're going, or you can actually anchor them in certain points. Um, so each object has a jump stitch associated with it. Um, basically, this jump stitch is associated with this object, and this jump stitch is associated with this object. So what we can do is we can actually anchor where the jump stitches go, and by doing that, we can keep it from stitching over itself. So the way that you anchor the jump stitches under miscellaneous menu, you have an edit jump stitches menu option. Um, when it's set to auto, basically it just routes the direct route. It doesn't do anything other than that. But if you check it, you get a new menu here. And it shows, um, when this is activated, it will show in cyan uh, the objects that are already stitched out. So the fact that this jump stitch goes over here would be okay um, because it's not going to be stitched over. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to move this jump stitch and anchor it up here and have it have all the jump stitches in this circle go around. So the way we do this is we say add anchors and basically the jump stitch for this particular graphic now becomes um, editable. You can see in red it's editable here. So we're going to hit a anchor there. And I didn't do that right. So let's do that over. Um, I just realized that the anchors start from the start and then they advance toward the object. So we're going to just delete that particular anchor. We're going to do it again. So we're going to jump out here, jump there, jump there. And right mouse click when you're done and you can now see that the jump stitches are going to stitch one stitch here here and here those will be easy to take out so um, well, another neat feature about this menu is we can do all of these at once here so we'll just go down in the stitch order to the next object and we'll just keep on repeating the process This is a very nice uh, new feature because it allows you to basically see what you're going to stitch out in the design and you won't have to trim the jump stitches um, until the end of this particular color. And um, that's really useful. I will show you in a moment um, after I do this uh, another design where I did the whole design uh, adding these anchor points and I was able to it was very helpful so we're almost finished Now we're finished. Um, the first one, you know, we could we could we could do the first one as well. Um, we will go between the hearts, and that first one will do that. Uh, generally, it's not necessary because um, it's jumping from the center to this first point anyway, so there wouldn't actually be a stitch here. Um, that's the origin point. Okay, so now this is done. So when this stitches out, it's going to jump to each of these objects. Here is a design where I applied a lot of jump stitches. As you can see, all the raindrops are connected and all the green are connected. Um, just as an example, if we click on this and start looking at how this was laid out, um, you'll see that we don't cross over each other when we're stitching out the blue. And then when we're done with the blue, the same applies to the green. We don't stitch over each other the green. Now in this one, we do stitch here over um, because it's, it's already 
ditched at the time that that jump goes there. And you can, it's kind of confusing to see everything. But basically, it jumps around without stitching over what it previously stitched. Now, that's not true when we change colors. At, at the end of the color, you'd be changing the thread anyway, so you have an opportunity to cut all the jump stitches. Um, the flowers, again, they take quite an interesting path. The jump stitches go around the flowers between the petals and things. So that's how you uh, do a complicated design with the jump stitch anchoring.